Hi, I'm Alex of Vending Machine Support. I'm going to show you how to remove a dollar bill acceptor on a Dixnarco 501E and replace it with another one. This process can actually be applied to just about any vending machine out there. Uh, the concepts are exactly the same uh, throughout. So what we're going to do on this machine, we're going to open the door up. And the first thing you always want to do whenever you're disconnecting something is you're going to disconnect power. And on the Dixarco 501E, the power is what we call a stack plug right here. These two harnesses that are connected together are supplying the 110 volt power to the main control board. So we're going to disconnect these. So I'm just going to squeeze. I'm actually going to pull that apart. So now if we had power in this machine, power would now be removed to the control board, the dollar bill acceptor, and the coin changer. The compressor would still be running in the machine, but this is killing power to our electronic devices. So once we have this removed, we're going to need to find our harnessing for our dollar bill acceptor. Now this machine I set up basically has a NIAX credit card reader on it, so it's always denoted by the yellow harness here. And we can see the harness comes out of the bill acceptor over here on this side. And if you follow this harness down, it's going to come to a white connector right here. And then coming out the other side of that connector goes to another harness, which goes to this white MDB connector, which then follows this gray wire, which goes down to the coin changer. The color of the wires may be different in your machines, but again, the concept is the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this MDB connection from the yellow credit card reader. So again, I'm just going to squeeze this little latch right here and pull it apart like so. And then here I'm going to follow down and disconnect the coin changer. And that would be disconnected like so. Now, you'll notice the MDB, this is a male side of the MDB plug, and the other end of this plug, it goes to the female side. Now, the coin changer has a, will always have a male side to the plug. And on the credit card reader, again, the credit card has two plugs on it, but here is the female side of the plug. So it's that way, when we connect it up, it's going to be fairly easy to reconfigure everything back uh, fairly simply. So to remove the dollar bill acceptor, there are four screws or four 11 32nd nuts, excuse me. And those can be found at the very bottom here, this one and this one here. And over on the side, there's another little 11 32nd nut here. And then the difficult one, at least on a Dixie Narco, is there's a nut back there. On that. So what we're going to need is an 11 32nd socket and I happen to have one right here. So I'm using a socket wrench with an extension. This is a deep socket with an extension is basically what I'm using here to remove this. So what I've always done is I've always loosened just the two here at the bottom. You want to make sure you've got it set so that's going to un unscrew. So I'm just going to go ahead and unloosen and we'll loosen or back off these nuts. You do not need to remove these nuts completely. And now we do need to remove the nut on the right hand side. So to do that, I find that sometimes you can remove the bill box and make your life a little bit easier. So on this, this is an MEI VN validator. So we can remove the bill box by pressing a little yellow tab, forward, lifting up, removing the bill box completely. This is the blue tab I was actually pressing. This makes it a little bit easier to get to that nut. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to remove this nut completely. Alright, alright, so that nut is actually sitting in the socket right there. So just being you can gingerly with it, you can actually keep it in the socket. I'm just going to put this down here for safekeeping. And I want to go ahead and remove the next 11 30 second nut. Forgive me, because I'm using the, the camera as my eyes. Right, there we go. I'm turn this a few here. And that's going to be a little tricky to get, so I'm going to get with my fingers. So here I have the nut in my hand. And now, with that all removed, I can just pull the back of the bill acceptor. So maybe I don't have to back these off enough. So I'm going to back these off a little bit more. Go back and remove. So basically we've got these two 
things here that actually sit down onto the actual pegs or uh, studs. And then these are these studs and the validator. Now to put everything back on the other validator is gonna be, everything's gonna be done completely in reverse. So for example, I'm gonna replace this with a Conlux CV. So it's a little bit different looking validator, but again, the concept is exactly the same. So I'm gonna line up and I'm just going to set this down like that. And it actually, now with my socket, I can actually do a twist. While we keep the bottom nuts in place, it allows us to hold the validator in place while we try to get the nuts on for the other ones. So I'm just going to turn this, tighten this down, and do the same thing over here. Okay, so this, now this validator is not going to fall out. So again, on this one, there's a little latch to pop, put that up, put this back, as I take the bill box off going to make it a little bit easier for me to put the new the other nut on so i'm going to find that the nut goes and this nut goes right there so i'm going to grab the nut and my hand in here and i've done this a lot so uh, very quite often so you may not be successful on your first attempt to get that in there but keep trying experience of let's say, 30 years in the bending industry I have found really all you need is that nut there and these two nuts at the bottom tightened down you don't need to put this very difficult one on the other side here to get that so once we've got this done we can now reconnect all of our uh, harnesses so this is the harness coming from the dollar bill acceptor so this harness right here so I follow it down and here is the other ends so again I have a female side and male side and I match everything up. Here is our coin changer. So the coin changer is going to be connected to the female side. So the female side of the coin changer connects to the female side. That's connected. Now I've got the female side of the credit card reader, male side of the dollar bill acceptor, and these two will be connected in here. So we'll connect these. And that's connected. And everything is all connected back up. Take the cables and move them out of the way. And the last thing we do, we're going to put the bill box back on. On this on this bill box, this is like latches in like this. Correctly. Bill box latches like so. And then the last but not least thing we're going to do is we're going to reapply the power. So we're going to back up here, and we're going to connect these two harnesses. Click them back together and we'll have power back on the machine and that is done hope you found this useful and uh, if you have any questions please uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, make sure you like and subscribe thank you for watching